Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create a quote, select tasks from the menu bar, roll over the quotes and sales orders command, and then choose quotes from the side menu that appears to open up the quotes window where you can create a quote to send to any customer that requests one. Within the quotes window, you begin by entering the ID of the customer or prospect that will be receiving the quote into the customer ID field. Now you must have the customer within your customer list to create a quote for them. Also note that if you plan on printing this quote, then you'll leave the quote number field blank. If you manually created a quote and are simply recording it into Sage 50, then enter the quote number that you gave to the customer into the quote number field. Next, enter the date that the quote was created into the date field. The bill to and ship to fields will fill in the information for the selected customer. Note that you can change the ship to field by clicking the gray arrow next to that field and selecting a different shipping address for the customer if needed. You can also check the drop ship checkbox to specify a drop shipment. The good through field will display a date that is one month away from the date field's value by default, and you can change this if needed. In the customer PO field, you can enter the customer's purchase order number if applicable. You can select the shipping method from the ship via field. You can also select the Sales Rep from the Sales Rep ID field if needed. You can also enter the Accounts Receivable account that the quote will debit when it's converted into an invoice into the Accounts Receivable account field if shown on screen. Now this field will default to the last account used in a sales transaction, but you can change it if needed. Then you'll enter the quantity of the first item ordered into the quantity column in the line item area. Next, select the item that they're ordering from the Item Fields drop-down of Item Choices. Now, the description of the selected item will display in the Description field. You can enter a description for items that you don't track through inventory directly into this field if needed. If you are displaying general ledger accounts within your forms in Sage 50, then the general ledger account column will display the account that's selected for the item. When you're ordering items that are not in inventory, the customer sales account would instead be displayed there. You can change that value if necessary. It's also important to remember that this will not affect the general ledger until you convert the quote into a sales order or sales invoice. Next, in the Unit Price field, you'll see the sales price of the selected item. If it's an item that you don't track as inventory, then you'll need to enter the price into this column. The Tax field will display the tax type of the selected inventory item. Note that this item, if it is not in inventory, will need to have its tax type selected. The Amount field will simply display the value of the quantity column times the unit price column. Once again, if you are manually entering a non-inventory item, then simply enter the total price of the item order into this field. If the quote is for a specific job, note that you can also select the job from the job column drop-down. It will not actually be applied to the job, however, once again, until the quote is converted into an invoice. At the bottom of the quote, in the Sales Tax Code field, you'll see the Sales Tax Code for the selected customer. Now, if you need to change their Sales Tax Code, just simply select one from the list. Finally, enter any freight charges that are applicable to this transaction into the Freight Amount field. When you're finished, you can either click the Print button in the toolbar at the top to print the quote and assign it a number, or you can simply click the Save button to save the quote.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.